So I listened back to the duet, turns out it was shit, I was singing too loudly the second time and it didn't record very well, but uh, oh well, uh, it's still up there, for uh, preserved for all eternity, maybe a little bit further down the line, a couple of episodes later or whatever, I'll attempt it again, and I'll sing a little bit quieter and we'll see, we'll have a, like a fucking triple duet, a, tr 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 a, tr a, tr a trio singing, we'll see how that goes, it ought to be uh, uh, fun at least, if nothing else, okay, um... Uh, that doesn't matter either. Duster rolled his eyes. Um, I have the sudden feeling that you're going to accidentally reveal your identity in a second. Oh, yeah? Um, uh, the dark hooded person pointed angrily at Duster. Just then, a simple wind came from the east, and his hood, along with his cape covering his whole body, flew away without any problem. And he was rendered naked. Various uh, uh, ellipsis globes above the heads of our heroes appeared. Wait, you're... Chris said, pointing at, to him, rather confused. Oh, what the fuck? It's Sonic. It was actually Sonic. <laughs> I was joking last time. Oh, no, in the cartoon, he ate chili dogs. So I asked jokingly if he was Sonic the Hedgehog. And yep, yeah, it's fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. Okay. Okay. Ah! All right, all right. My true, my true identity. It's Sonic. Happy Lieutenant Son. Sorry, no, he's American. Lieutenant Sonic the Hedgehog. The previously dark hooded person revealed himself as Sonic the Hedgehog. He was very angry at Duster's response. His body was glowing in a purple aura. So your enemy is a hedgehog? Kumatora asked. It looks like. Nana said, you know what? Screw all of you. I'll wait at the top of the tower to see if you can stop that bomb. He ran away with great speed. Gotta go fast. But then he returned. Or me, he said, pointing with his thumb at him. Then he disappeared in a blink. Um. He has a lot of anger problems, Kumatora pointed out. That's maybe because of the control of the primates, Chris said. He scares me, Lucas said, trembling. Who doesn't? Chris said, walking away. Lucas made a confused face, and they walked forward. However, Lucario stopped, and he looked at his jerky on the ground. He closed his eyes in disappointment. Uh, what do you mean, who doesn't scare Lucas? I mean, have there been many instances in the past where Lucas has been scared? Whatever. I'll take his word for it. Okay. Um... Who doesn't, Chris said, walk Lucas, Lucas made a confused face and they walked forward. However, Lucario stopped and he looked at his jerky on the ground. He closed his eyes in disappointment. Hmm? Lucario felt a sweet smell of meat near his nose. When he opened his eyes, he saw another piece of jerky. Well, that wasn't the whole jerky. I kept this one for an emergency, but you can eat it if you want, Chris said, smiling. Thanks. Lucario grabbed the jerky and he started to eat. He gave a little smile at Chris and they continued further inside. Inside fucking where? They're outside. They're in like the desert or something, aren't they? I don't know, where are they? I can't remember. No man's valley, alright, they're in a valley. It could be like a flowery valley, or it could be like a desert valley, I don't know. Um, whatever. This is horrible, Nana said. She saw various monsters on the way, but those monsters were not normal. Yeah, you know, fucking normal monsters. Yeah, you're just walking down the street, you pass a fucking chimera. There's a, there's a manticore, you know. It's fucked up. The monsters were not normal. They were either fusioned with another animal or transformed into a disgusting thing. Wasn't that a kangaroo before? Popo said, pointing to a monster with the bag of a kangaroo, but instead the rest was fusioned with a shark, and a little shark was inside the bag. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't believe this, Chris said. The horrible sensation of watching a living nightmare in front of his eyes was impossible. How in the world can a shark suffer like that? Um, and this is the work of the Pig Mask Army! Kumatora said, making a fist. They are altering the fauna of the island. He forgot to put a, a, a little closing uh, speech mark there. Good old Aura Channel, Chris. Um, they are altering the fauna of the island. And also, they are making those things too. Duster said, pointing to an armadillo with a machine embedded to his back. Oh damn, it's like um the cover of that Emerson, Lake and Palmer album. 
What is that shit? Hold on a second, I gotta... Let me just, uh... Emerson... Lake and... Pa Didn't one of them recently die? I think one of the... Em I think either Emerson Lake or Palmer... Uh, uh, yeah, Greg Lake. He died, uh... Just before... Oh, he's the guy who did that song, um... I believe in Father Christmas. That gets played every, um... Every Christmas time. How, what, what do they get criticized? What criticized, um... Uh, how do you spell pretentious? ELP. Um, Robert Criscow said of the band, These guys are as stupid as their most pretentious fans. Criscow called ELP the world's most overweening progressive group. That's not very nice, uh, Robert Criscow. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, no, because that's, uh, that's an armadillo with a machine on its front. Oh, well, it's the thought that counts. Tarkus. All right. Um, Greg Lake, yes. R.I.P. Greg Lake. Robert Criscow doesn't like you, but, uh, but, but you'll, you'll always be in my heart. I don't think I've heard a single song by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep you in mind always. Um, um, it's like those serpents with chicken heads we fought a while ago, Chris said. Sir? Look out, Lucas said. One of the deformed kangaroo approached them and started, approached to them and started a battle. Lucas and company met parental kanga shark. <laughs> okay. Face to face. Lucas, Kumatora, Duster, Boney, Chris, Lucario, Popo, Nana. 101, 123, 126, 97, 105, 204, 99, 90. Boney attacks. Parental kanga shark receives 48 of damage. Duster attacks. Parental kanga shark receives two hits, 57 of damage. Popo attacks. Popo misses. Idiot. Nana attacks. Parental Kanga Shark re receives 37 of damage. Parental Kanga Shark rests. Parental Kanga Shark recovers 140 HP. Kumatora uses PK Freeze Alpha. Um, Parental Kanga Shark receives 114 of damage. Lucas attacks. Parental Kanga Shark receives 51 of damage. Parental Kanga Shark attacks with his son. What? I thought it was female kangaroos who kept them in their pouches. Whatever. Uh, Duster receives 60 of damage. Chris receives 41 of damage. Lucario's strength goes up. Chris attacks. Parental Kanga Shark receives 53 of damage. Parental Kanga Shark was eliminated. You win! Good for you, guys. Lucas and company receives, um, 87, uh, EXP points. Um, okay. What the hell is that? Chris asked. He saw various tentacles attached to a lion's head. The robot sees them, and he starts another battle. Oh, joy. Recon Lion makes his way to you. Lucas, Kumatora, Dusty, Duster, Boney, Chris, Lucario, Popo, Nana. 101, 123, 97. Sorry, no. 101, 123, 93, 97, 76, 204, 99, 90. Recon Lion fires a stream of fire. How come Lucario doesn't get any damage? It's bullshit. Hacks. Whatever. Um, okay. Uh... Recon Lion, fires, uh, Recon Lion fires a stream of fire. Lucas receives 24 of damage. Kumatora receives 21 of damage. Duster receives 23 of damage. Roni receives 20 of damage. Chris receives uh, 24 of damage. Lucario's strength goes up. Lucario receives 19 of damage. Uh, Lucario's strength goes up. What? Popo receives 25 of damage. Nana receives 25 of damage. Boney attacks. Boney misses. Duster throws a bomb. Recon Lion receives 123 of damage. Nana attacks. Recon Lion receives 3 hits. 57 of damage. I feel like a fucking, um... A commentator at like a horse race or something. You know, uh, there's a brown horse getting in front. Hey, you, you ever see that Eddie Izzard skit where he's talking about the horse race? There's a slightly brown horse, a big brown horse, a camel and the fucking brown horse. and the, You know, uh, or like um, I'm doing the fuck, <laughs> it's fucking storage wars. You know, what is, it, what is it the guy does, you know. Going once, going twice. Brrr. <laughs> he makes those weird noises. He was, um, I don't make a habit of watching storage hunters, but it is quite good fun. And uh, you also got the guy <laughs> going on, you know. Okay, 100, get on, get, get 150, going once, going twice, brr, brr, going once, going twice, brr, it's going, it's all to the, to the lady in front. I don't know. Brr, it just makes that fucking noise, it's weird. Recon Lion receives 123 of damage, brrr, Nana attacks, Recon Lion receives 3 hits, 57 of damage, Kumatora uses PK Thunder Alpha, nothing happens, Recon Lion receives 110 of damage, Lucas uses PK Life Up Alpha, Chris is fully recovered, <laughs> Chris attacks, Chris misses, fucking idiot, Lucario attacks, Recon Lion receives 289 of damage, Recon Lion explodes in defeat, you win, Lucas and company receives 96 EXP points, Kumatora's level goes up by 23. Okay. All right. 
Kumatora said, smiling. Can you this part can just fucking die. Holy shit. Okay. Right on. HP goes up by six. PP goes up by two. Strength goes up by two. Defense goes up by three. Guts goes up by five. Speed goes up by three. Evasion goes up by one. Goes up one. Sorry, my mistake. Um, what kind of monsters are the pig mask army to make the animals suffer like this? Chris asked. They are too insane, Popo said. Who knows what kind of monsters are ahead, Duster said. The group continued further, but Boney stopped and he barked. Um, what is it, Boney? Lucas asked. Woof, woof, woof. I need to, ch I need to change my clothes, Boney said by barking. He was still dressed as a kid. After a moment, Boney was now in his usual appearance, and they walked away to another area with many holes. Duster stepped in front of the group and he looked around. I'd, I'd, it would be good if, if Duster or Kumatora didn't realise that he was a dog this whole time. They were just like, what? Well, you know. Might. Uh, would it? I don't know. What is that? Uh -huh.